This is the 4Class Trek Pad. It cost $13 at Decathlon, but I paid five euros for it some years ago in France. Compare that to the Nemo Chipper at $20 or the Thermarest Z Seat at $33. Up and get outside. Now this piece of gear isn't fancy. All it is is a closed cell foam seat, but it's super handy to have with you on a backpacking trip or even a hiking trip. I even put it in my hunting pack because when you want to take a break for a while, you can have this just on the outside. You pull it out, you set it on the ground, and you always have somewhere dry and somewhat soft to sit on. It also works nicely as an insulating layer on an actual camp chair, but it weighs almost nothing and it looks cheap, so it should be cheap. And some of those others are not. Now another piece of hiking or camping gear that is way cheaper at Decathlon than elsewhere is camp chairs. This one in particular is the Quechua MH500 chair. It is a low back camp chair that's foldable and it weighs 2.2 pounds. That's not the lightest weight backpacking chair out there, but it's also not the heaviest. And this one is super durable and super tough. I feel very stable in it when I'm sitting in it, even as a bigger guy, which I can't say for my REI Flexlite air chair. Now I love this chair too, because it's only a pound. It weighs less than half as much as this one, but it also costs $40 more. The Decathlon chair is $60. The REI Flex Lite Air chair is $100. You can also compare this to something like the Helinox Chair Zero, which sells for $150, although again, it's much lighter weight, or something like the Big Agnes Mica Basin chair, which is a whopping $200. Now, before I go on, I must say this is not a sponsored video. I am just a really big fan of Decathlon as an outdoor retailer store. I've bought lots of things from them because you can get reasonable gear at very good prices that's a decent quality. So especially if you're just new getting into camping and hiking or you've got kids that you're trying to outfit, this is a great way to get into some good gear for good prices. So again, not a sponsor, but I do really like the store. I will put affiliate links below so we get a commission if you use those links choose to do that or not up to you but we appreciate the support and let's continue on exhibit a the decathlon mt100 puffer jacket now this is a very popular puffer jacket and it costs only 100 dollars and the hoodless version is a little bit cheaper now let's compare that 100 price tag of the decathlon puffy jacket to some of those other popular down puffy jackets like the patagonia down sweater hoodie at 329 dollars or the the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer at $360 or the Kodo Paxi Fuego at $295. All of those I'm sure are excellent jackets and people love them and that's fantastic, but I can save a lot of money paying a third as much or even a quarter as much if you compare it to the Arcteryx Cerium jacket at $400 and I'm still getting a darn good jacket. So enough said about the jackets, I talk a lot about that jacket. And I have mentioned this before too and this is a backpack cooler from Decathlon. Now this is an older version that I've had for many years now. I think I paid around $20 for it. We've traveled all over the world with this thing. The new version of this backpack cooler is $35 and you can compare that to something like the Igloo Max Cold Voyager backpack cooler which sells for $60. It's not a Yeti backpack cooler but it's also not $300. If you've got families, if you like to just do day hikes and you want to have a nice cool fresh lunch when you get to the lake or your destination, this is a great bar for something that you'll use more than you think you might. Next, we have backpacks of all varieties from Decathlon that are almost always a good deal. This little number here is what they call the Quechua NH Apronaz 110 liter pack, and it only costs $5.99. That's $6, not $599. $6 for a 10 liter day pack. Now there is nothing particularly fancy about this. Basic polyester material, one main pocket, one small front pocket, simple backpack straps. This is my daughter's, she has her keychains on it. Whenever we go on a day hike, my kids will pack their own gear around in here. And I've even borrowed these from them to use for my own purposes. But it's not just the simple cheap backpacks they make. They've got this one here, which is the MT900 Ultralight Backpacking Pack. Now, as you can see, this is brand new, still has the tags on it. I just got it, so I haven't used it. Can't speak a whole lot about it yet, but I can speak to its value. This sells for $189. Compare that to my Gregory Focal Pack, which in a similar size costs $250. $50 or the Osprey Exos 58 
which costs $260. So for $60 or $70 less than something very comparable from a name brand you might recognize here, you're getting a quality pack that's still under three pounds. It has a suspension system, it has quality materials, and I'm just really excited to try this pack out. Decathlon makes mini camp sleeping pads Great for backpacking and car camping alike. I have a few and this isn't all of them that I have from them. This is the 4Class 700 air mattress, which is much akin to those lightweight air mattresses that you use backpacking like the Nemo Tensor. Now, I wouldn't say this one is near as good a quality or performance and it's not as lightweight as the Nemo Tensor, but it's also only about 60 bucks is what I paid for it compared to about $200 for a Nemo Tensor. A closer comparison than the Nemo Tensor to this pad might be something like the Climate Static V, which is still $100, quite a bit more than this one. You can also get these self-inflatable ones. Compare the $50 price tag of this pad to the Sea to Summit Camp Plus pad, which is $100, twice as much. Then you have a sleeping pad that's as cheap as they come, $15 at Decathlon. Compare that to a Thermarest Ridge Rest at $32. Again, more than double the money. Suffice it to say, you can get a good deal on a sleeping pad at Decathlon. These are Merino wool base layers from Decathlon. They are the Merino MT500 series of base layers. The material is very soft, it's very good merino. Not that I'm some expert judge of merino, I mean, I don't know anything about those goats running around those mountains. They do a very good job at wicking moisture and keeping you warm at the same time. So I've been wearing them skiing, I've been wearing them camping, hunting, and so far I love them. They do help keep the stink down a little bit. And the price is very reasonable. Now anything merino isn't gonna be dirt cheap, but here this quarter zip top, the price is $80 and the bottoms are $65. Compare that to a set of classic merino wool base layers from Smart Wool, which are gonna run you about $120 for a quarter zip top and $115 for the bottoms. So you're saving almost half by going with these. Hey, if you're liking this kind of a video, subscribe to the channel for more. Inflatable boats is another thing that Decathlon sells for a really good deal. And they have the Ituit Packraft Kayak 100. I think that's the proper name. It's just a pack raft. It's an inflatable boat that you can roll up real small. It's lightweight and you can hike it in somewhere so that you can go fishing at that lake or even do some small whitewater in the back country. Now, I really love this concept. I'm really hoping to get one myself. This pack raft from Decathlon is only $400. Compare that to an alpaca raft scout which is $750 for a very similar boat. Now that might be something that makes your next hiking trip more interesting. All right here's the Mary Poppins bag we've been using for this video and this also comes from Decathlon. This is a four class another house brand of theirs duffel bag. I would say this is akin to say the North Face Base Camp duffel bags but it has some different features and it has a different price. These range in price from $60 to $109. This is the big version which is 109 but I would compare that to say the North Face Base Camp large size which is 160 so you're saving a lot of money still. I love these Base Camp bags. I've been using these for years for travel and adventures and outdoor stuff all the same and it's a great bag but it costs a lot more money and while I still like it I really like the price of this decathlon duffel and I also like that these are expandable so this one goes from 80 to 120 liters. Now here's a great little number two that won't break the bank. This is a backpacking pillow from Decathlon, the Four Class Trek Pillow. It costs $23 and it weighs six ounces. That's a pretty lightweight pillow. It is an inflatable pillow, but it has a nice case that goes around it with some plush material on the top. So of all the inflatable pillows I've tried, this is probably the most comfortable. I'd compare it probably to that Cocoon Ultralight Air Pillow that's sort of popular among backpackers, but that one sells for $37 compared to $23 here. Or maybe the Sea to Summit Eros Premium Pillow, which again is an ultralight pillow and as the name implies is premium and it only weighs half as much as this, but it also costs $50. And I wager that this might be a little more comfortable since they put a little extra cushion in that pad. This is the MH500 hiking pant and it sells for 50 bucks, but this is made with very nice synthetic material that has four way stretch. It fits nice, it's got articulated knees, it's got elastic cuffs on the bottom of the legs. It even comes with a little webbing belt that. I don't have in there right now. It's got pockets that are on the side and flush. It dries fast, it's very comfortable. So compare that $50 price tag to the Outdoor Research Ferrosi Pant for $100 or the Bougie Technical Arcteryx Gamma Pant 
for $180. This is also a technical pant, and technically, I like that price more. Last but not least, I have the Merino Wool T-shirt from Decathlon. These are the four class travel 500 Merino Wool T-shirts. They're different from a Merino hiking T-shirt that they make. I've tried that on in the store before and I didn't like it near as much. I love these because they fit pretty well, although they do run small and I got these a few years ago when I was a little smaller, so hoping to fit back into them this year with a little bit of uh, work on my side. But anyway, they are gonna be a very comfortable shirt that's soft fabric, they wick moisture well and I've worn them for several days in a row while traveling and they really don't get near as stinky as anything else I just feel like I can wear them over and over I can hang them up to dry and they're ready to hit the trail again the next day These are great for hiking. They're great for backpacking and I just really love them and they only cost $40 Compare that to an $80 Merino t-shirt, just the classic version from Smart Wool, or Icebreaker's Tech Light t-shirt, which also costs $80 and is very popular. So for half the price, you're getting a very nice Merino wool t-shirt. And that's kind of the name of the game with Decathlon. Often you find really great gear, for half the price of anywhere else, maybe even less. And I should also mention that everything I showed here is available in the US on decathlon.com. You might notice that inventory varies widely or you see these other YouTubers from Canada or Europe that are talking about other products you just can't find. And that's because they have a much larger selection elsewhere. Inventory also fluctuates with the seasons. So if some of these summer oriented items don't show up today, check back later because they might be available in season. And one last pro tip, as I've alluded to before, if you are ever traveling abroad, especially in Europe, you really ought to drop by Decathlon and stock up on this or other gear then because it's gonna be cheaper most likely over there than what they're selling for in the US. Now, if you're looking for more cheap gear, check out this video next. Then gear up and get outside.